Hello, and in this video, we're going to be talking about Python print. Why am I saying Python print? Well, you'll see. Okay, so a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, um, in Python 2, print was a statement. Print, and then space, and then you had your little quote there. Quote, your string, whatever, you whatever you're putting on print. Um, but now we live in more civilized times. In Python 3, print is a function. And that is that function, that print function is what we're going to be talking about in this video. Um, you are using Python 3, right? If not, you can use this future import to um, get that print function. That if you're using Python 2 at this point, you are probably very familiar with this import because you need it for practically everything. <laughs> okay, I'm sure you already know how to print, how to, how to use the Python print function. I'm, you know, usage is pretty simple. Here we go. We're going to assign a, a string hello world to the variable hello, and we're going to print it. And it does, I'm sure we've, we've done this a bajillion times by now, right? And, you know, it works with numbers too. Um, printing objects is um, a little bit different though. Um, you may have ran into this where, so here we go. We're going to create a class as a tree and we're going to give it a uh, species here. Uh, if we want to print that out, you get this though. You get that. Hmm. It's not. It's not very helpful. I mean, I don't. I mean, I don't know what that actually necessarily is. I know it's an instance of stuff. Um, but you, you may, may have seen other things. You may have seen other objects where you print and actually gives you something nice, something meaningful. And that generally is where Dunder scores come in. Uh, <laughs> I don't think some people don't like that name. I, I, I love Dunder score. Uh, it's Dunder score time. So we have our Dunder score of init, but there's also a Dunder score of string. And that is kind of what makes this string representation of your object. When, why would you need that? Well, when you might need it in, for instance, in printing, like we just did. So here we go. We've got um, our Dunder score string function here and it's going to just return the species uh and then we make an oak tree and then print it out and look it, now it's pretty um it's not entirely helpful <laughs> but it's better than um this possibly it depends on what your need are but it gives you an idea of where to go down that road of um how do i make this thing more meaningful when i print it out uh now you may have wondered where that that you know, main dot tree instance, blah, 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 came from. And uh, if there is no uh, Dunder score string, it's going to get the, uh, I don't know how to say this, uh, the reaper, the represent. Um, and we can do an example here. So we're going to make that same kind of function here. And then we're going to make the my tree. And then we're just going to, sorry for the nested function calls, but this just made it nice and concise. And I don't want it to be a wall of text. Um, so here we go, the represent. And then my tree, and I'm going to print that out, and that's where you get it from. So it's a fallback. So if you don't have that tender string, that's why you get this, is because um, it's going to first look for the string, the tender score string function. And if I can't find that, that's just going to run this function. So, um, but let's look at the, um, the print function itself. Um, here it is. Now it looks at it's uh looks more complicated than I expected. It probably more complicated than you expected. Did you, did you know all this stuff was in there? Uh, let's go through these arguments one by one. So the first one is the star objects. That one's pretty pretty obvious. So what we use all the time, um, and you can give it uh, multiple objects, and it will print them out. Uh, now one that's more interesting is the separator, it, SEP. So you can actually give a separator. If you, for, so you have multiple objects being printed and you can tell print what you'd like them to be separated by. Could be, could be useful. Um, you can also tell how you'd like it to end. So generally you're going to want it to end with a uh, new carriage return, carriage return. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Whatever, whatever that is. Yeah. That thing. Um, but you can add more to it. Uh, as you can see, when we went down there, bum, 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 bum. Um, so it does have some default values default value here is um, the carriage return for the end, which is very reasonable. But let's say we want something with a little bit more flair. So we give it the explanation point. Boom. Done. All right. Uh, we can also output it to a file. And so this, we can't, there's not really an example. I mean, it's what you'd expect. So you can actually have the print then output. So we open up a file, we uh, open it and say, we're going to append it to it. And then we start printing out, printing out, writing to that file 
for the print. Um, so you can specify where you want that to go to. I believe, you know, standard out is the default, but you can also have to go to a file. Uh, flush, that one, uh, not really demonstrable. Uh, here's from the docs. Uh, whether output is buffered is usually determined by the file. But if the flush keyword argument is true, the stream is forcibly flushed. Sounds kind of violent. Um, okay, so now we've explored the print uh, function probably in more depth than you wanted to or expected to. Uh, if you are looking into print functions this much, um, you should really look at taking it to the next level. You should be trying out that logging module. Um, there's a lot of stuff that you're probably doing in print that you would be much happier actually doing it in logging. Um, it, most things people use print for, um, I don't want to be judgmental, but most people that I see people using print, um, they really should be using logging, especially if you have print statements in like kind of a mature project. You take it to the next level, put in that uh, printing, or that logging module. Um, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it um, in some way helpful or informative. And uh, if so, hit that like button. If you want to see more, then uh, subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those in the comments below. And if you would like, um, I'm on Twitter. You can follow me on Twitter there, Mr. Rigdon. Um, yeah, thank you for watching.